Scotties, a very good evening to you. It's me, Scotty McClure. It's Saturday night. Nothing gets past me. And it's the internet phone in. How amazing is that? One hour of superb scintillating information, education and entertainment for not just one nation, but for every nation across the world. Welcome, 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 I say. So much to talk about and so little time to do it in. And of course, great subjects for discussion tonight. Dinky do. Welcome to my live. Now, if you could follow me as soon as you come on, that would be just amazing. Very, very important. So get following as soon as you can. We're only up for an hour and it will pass in a flash. I can tell you that for nothing. So there you are. I tell you, hey, Dinky Doo, hey, Sir Albion. How lovely to have you with us. And a big Dinky Doo to you, of course. And welcome to Scotty McClue's Internet Phone In on Saturday night. Lots of you joining. That is absolutely brilliant. Tell 10 to tell 10. Share and share and share the video. I think that's important as well. Hello, how are you? Says the wonderful Kareem. Hello, Scotty McClure. Hello, Kareem. Great to have you with us, Dinky Doo. I don't know if you're up for a call tonight, Kareem, but what I'll do is I'll open up the lines and, uh, of course, stay on to make sure that we get the sound that we are looking for. So you should be able to get through now. And uh, we shall uh, sort out the sound as soon as you come on. Just bear with us. That's what it's about. There we go. Now, there we go. Stay with me. You're live on Scotty's phone. How are we doing? No, that's fine. Don't you worry about that. There you go. Right. Is that better? I can hear you now, Scotty. Yes, I think we're cracking it, Kareem. We seem to have a slight difference. One uses one mic and the other uses the other, you see. Ah, so great. so okay. I just have great. to sort of switch between the two. Ah, great. Now, it worked absolutely well, fine for the first year. <laughs> so we don't know. But anyway, there it goes. Yes. Hello, Scotty. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes, how are we? It's been, I feel it's been like a wee while since I've had a wee chat. With it's you. been a million years, and I was just wondering how you were. How are the joints doing? I, I'm fine, Scotty. Yes, not too bad. I've Good. been popping my game, shall I say, at the gym. I'm trying to go four or five times a week now, get myself fight and fit. Um, and, yeah, but my car broke down again today. So oh, no. I said a wee while ago, so that was quite a... No, that's a not so good. Yes, I hope it's not good to become a bit of a money pit. You have to keep an eye on these things. Yes. Well, it's, it, to be fair, it's not had too much, but the, the last time the guy did, I think, half the job to see if it would be okay, so now I think right. he's going to have to do it the other half. <laughs> right. Excellent. Yes, I understand exactly where you're coming from. Now then, uh, good things. I'll tell you what I heard today, Karim. Uh, it was a lady on a video saying that men can get pregnant. She was asked outright about all the new woke things and different genders and what have you. And uh, somebody was saying, can a man get pregnant? And she said, yes. And I thought to myself, now, is this, a, a, are we at a high risk here, you know? I think, I, I'm not sure of all the ins and the outs, but I do, I think if someone transitions and gets all the body parts, it can be possible, but then they wouldn't be a man, would they? Right, well, no, that's the thing. And also, is there a risk to the likes of myself of getting pregnant, you know? <laughs> this is, I mean, should I, should I avoid, should I avoid certain foodstuffs, you know? <laughs> uh, very interesting. Now, what's doing with your good self? We've had a very interesting week. I've been explaining a lot about the monarchy, of course, and uh, I've been explaining about the national anthem, and you still have the halfwit that thinks because we sing Flower of Scotland at a rugby match or a football match, that that's the Scottish National Anthem, where, of course, God Save the Queen is the Scottish National Anthem, you know? Yes, no, I, I completely understand that. I think I've seen some of the stuff from the videos as well. Um, until, well, it's God Save the Queen, God Save the King, um, and that, that's probably what it will always be. I quite like how we have Flower Scotland as our, we love our it. unofficial or unofficial National Anthem, shall yes, we say. Yes, well, somebody had sung it as a ballad. And all the, the people were coming along going, oh, that's no the way it's sung. That's no the way it's sung. It's sung with thousands of voices on the pipes. And I thought that's the way it was originally sung 
when Roy yeah. Williamson composed it. Yes. And yes, he based it on the uh, chorus of the Hebrew slaves from Nabucco, the opera. Ah, right. You know, okay. So, so okay. If, if you remember, you'll, you'll, you'll be familiar with this. Um, speed your journey. It goes. Da ra di da ra 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 da di 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 di, and flower of Scotland goes all flower of Scotland, and then it changes mm -hmm. a little bit. So he kind of based it on that, and it was sung very not gently, but as a good strong folk ballad at the Corrie's concerts. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. no, I think like people. I just think some people aren't in their eyes. They don't like change. And, you yes. know, and although it's not a change because it is the original, as you were saying, Scotty, yes. I just think in their eyes they're just not used to change. Or, I, just, I think society is struggling at the moment because I think a lot of people are getting... <laughs> well, you see, I'll, I'll tell you, I can remember playing Oh, When the Saints Come Marching In on the Piano and somebody yes. saying, Oh, you can't play that. That's to do with football. And I thought, no, that was around yeah. long before football. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I can remember playing that in school myself as well, but I always remember the beginning, so I always struggled for the remainder. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Now, Karim, can I just read out some wonderful things here? Um, yes. Hi, Scotty McClure. Hello, remember me? Good evening, Captain from Norwich, says Neil. Arthur says, Scotty McClure. Yes, I'm pregnant and I am a boy. Uh, so uh, there we are. Scotty, I'm due next month. I'm going to call him. Jim, love loving the big man, didn't you do? Can you let us on? What a joker, says Arthur. I make quick question. Have you seen any Astro? So I haven't seen it, so I don't know what he means. I love your beard, says the unknown. And who else have we got? The chap you're talking to has got his head in a bucket. That's that's you, but it's just the sound they're talking about. Ah, right. You sounded uh, very kind of um, echoey. Back inside. Ah, that's it. You're outside. Right, I'm back indoors now. We're oh, walking the dogs. Oh, wonderful. Ah, right. Excellent stuff. Anyway, it's fine. So, what are yes. you thinking about things, Karim? Because you've got a lot of wisdom. Uh, well, I know some people might be feeling bored, but I actually feel so excited, and I've not felt excited like this in a long time, Scotty, because, as you know, our First Minister has launched the campaign, and it is now set for 20, October 2023, um, and I just feel this is it now. The time has come for us to wake up. The time has come for us now to start talking and educating. Now, we're always going to have the half-wits, uh, but I do think there's fear, and you can see that within the Unionist media, and you can see that within the Unionist parties within the Parliament, uh, and so they should be, because I think Scotland should be waking them up and to get rid of this well, West Minister. they've done a government. lot of damage to uh, Scotland, the Unionist parties. I mean, they've done terrific damage over the years, really over the last 60 years with beaching, cutting yeah. the rail network. Now, that might be fine in the southeast, but it's a yes. totally different world in Scotland and the Highlands. Yes. You yes. know, so we do really need people who are familiar with where we live. Yes. Well, I find it interesting earlier, Scotty, because uh, obviously there's so much now on, on, um, on Facebook, etc. There was a, a group, a, a Better Together group in the city centre, and there was a picture taken, and obviously it was with the union uh, flag, but all the flags they had around their stall was the Union flag surrounded by the Queen. And I thought this is going to be their, this is going to be one of their tactics again, that as you've always said, yeah. the monarchy uh, goes nowhere. I actually think, and I do feel, I think that I mean, the Yes movement, there's been a lot of division since 2014 with a lot of people, but they have to come together and they will come together. Let the politics and the shaping of the country come yeah. after a yes vote. Yes. And that's that's a true democracy. But I do really believe that for the unionists, for the ones that support the monarchy and make that jump for a yes, I do believe they have to have the St Andrews, the Scotland flag, with the Queen on it as well. I let, absolutely let. go there. I don't think that's a problem at all. You know, because the Queen is the head of state for Scotland. And, yes. uh, you know, the flag of Scotland, you've got the lion rampant is the royal yep. flag. And, uh, you know, and you've also, the lion rampant 
is on the uh, the Royal Ensign. 